Oh, piss in the lake. Three. All right, what is going on everyone? We are back with another super fire, exciting video. We are here with Mikey behind the camera. Hasn't been in a long time, honestly. You guys give Mikey a little shout out there behind the camera on the lens. We got Brody setting up what's gonna be going on in today's video. And so basically I'm gonna break it down here real short and real simple of what's going on, all right? Everyone stay tuned for this one. It's gonna be super major, what's gonna happen. We got a lot of shit going on, super fun shit. But all right, let me break it down what's going on. So we got a couple rifles today. We got 270, uh, we got a 20 gauge, a 12 gauge, a 380, a 32 Caltech, a 9 millimeter, and a 223 and a 5.56. So we got a bunch of different rifles today. We're gonna be shooting them at assortment of targets. We got a grill. We have ears of corn. We got some paint. We got a bunch of different other stuff that we're gonna shoot today. Some cans. You know what I'm saying? I think. What else do we have? Some pots and whatnot. Yeah. So we got a bunch of stuff. You're gonna see a setup over there. You see the whole setup. After we get all this shit set up, we're gonna take the Ranger. What we took. We're probably gonna go. I don't know. We're gonna go a certain distance away. Probably start like further away or maybe closer like 25 yards 30 and then work our way back to see what uh we can do so we're gonna sight some guns in so everyone stay tuned and see what we got planned all right so for the uh for what we got going on here today what we're cooking i guess we got some ears on the grill some corn you know what i'm saying we'll put some corn on the grill we got a, a little shot glass and some uh, candle wax here we're gonna see if we can pick that off might go ahead and uh we got the coal we got the coal underneath we're gonna get these things cooking you know what i'm saying hey don't be dropping no corn over there relax yep and oh yeah, we also have a little fan here that doesn't work. All this shit is broken, so we're not wasting anything, just so you fuckers don't know. We got some we got a couple... fucking bat. Oh yeah, we also got a baseball bat here. So Mikey's setting up a couple one ears of corn shot. here through this thing. One shot, this thing's going down. You think so? Yeah. This thing's in bad shape here, but we're gonna put it into worse shape, huh? Yeah, we'll fuck this thing up. Got a little corn on the cop. <laughs> a couple corns of ears. I mean ears of corns. Corns of ears and ears of corns. Oh yeah, we also have a baby seat with no baby in it, disclaimer. We got the baseball bat. For uh, windage, also hit each other. Bing. Bing. Got a nice variety of ears. So as you can see, we're gonna be grilling some ears. Not the same grilling you guys are used to. And uh, yeah, we're gonna go from there. So we do. Brody's starting to set up the guns here. We got a couple of the. Uh, we got a couple of the uh, shotgun caliber uh, rifles here. We got a uh, bolt action rifle here. This is a 270. Got your nine millimeter. It's Mikey's. Got your Keltec, old Brody's pistol. And uh, yeah, we got a couple more, so we're gonna get uh, we're gonna get suited up and see what we can uh, start shooting. And mind you, we're in the cornfields here, so bullets will not be traveling further than this grill. <laughs> Go shopping, buddy. <laughs> I'm gonna shoot this very quickly because he went toe first into. I don't know if you guys can get a good shot of that. That is millions of fire ants. Fuck, hate ants, bro. Well, we gotta get out of these ants, bro. This is what we're shooting today. Some ear corns. Nice sweet corn growing straight out right here. It's not bad, right? This is where we have located. Uh, target is acquired right there, as you can see, a little further down uh, downhill. As you can uh, as you can see what's going on here, we got the AR-15. Uh, we're shooting 223 today. We got uh, the 12 and 20, I believe maybe both 12s. Both 12s. Both 12s. We got the 270, so right now we're probably going to do some pistol shots. We got the 9mm here. So uh, we got a Smith & Wesson SD9 here. We got a uh, Keltec 32, little tiny guy in there. There you go. And then we got my 380, also a little another tiny guy. Uh, there's some 270 shell or 270 casings. We got some shotgun shells. Shit to sight in my gun. A couple uh, AR-15 mags, and uh, we're going to see what's going on. My gun is not sighted in by any chance, so we're going to have to see what's going on with that. I got all the shit for the windage crew, so I'm gonna see if Brody can sight in the gun here. Well, ready to shoot some shit or what? Shoot. All right, let's go. You guys ready? Never seen a video like this, something new on the channel. Um, we're hot. So we've done some uh, windage adjustments on some of the guns, so we're gonna start setting up. We're at like 35 yards right now. In here, We got a Brody with the 270, he's gonna Sit back and uh, everyone plug your ears for this one. This one's pretty loud. Brody, tell us what you're aiming at. Uh, white pot, left of the grill. Okay. I mean, that is money, bro. I'm gonna see if I can pull one on the knob. Pull one on the knob of the grill? Yeah. 
All right, so you guys know the temperature thing that you change the grill with, turn it on and off. Brody's aiming for the old, old temperature gauge. Hat comes off, you know it's business, huh? What happened there? Yeah. Money? Yeah. Damn, bro, that can excite it in, huh? Mike, like you ready to shoot that big cannon or yeah, what? Yeah, big cannon. I think it hit like right above the knob. You think so? Yeah. All right, guys, so this is the pot that Brody was aiming at. So we went and blew that thing up and shattered it. Made it was a once a full pot, as you guys once saw before. And this is what Brody was aiming for down there. And uh, he just missed it just by a tick. That's about an inch and a half, maybe an inch, just above the throd there. And uh, any corn damage in there or what? Yeah, watch out for those ants. They really like you, Mikey. Gorgeous sight out here while we're filming. We're out here on the cane fields. This is straight sugar cane. Mike, you want to demonstrate what sugar cane is? This is where your sugar comes from, boys and girls. So Brody's got you on some, this is some sugar cane here. When you're out here working all day in the field, this is what you're chewing on. You get to the heart of it, that's where the sweet stuff's at. Look at that come right on you. Chew right on it? Hmm? No, this one's not quite ready yet. <laughs> is it? That red one's probably ready. No, this, this cane's like... <laughs> About how many months old, huh? <laughs> 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 it needs another month before it comes out of the ground. <laughs> Alright, another month and then this cane's gonna be straight in your uh, cereal bowl. We'll Mustaches on faces, baby. Give this video a thumbs up or a like or a comment or something for Brody's uh, squirrel on his face. He worked a lot for that big old squirrely. You know what I'm saying? That's a Mondo stash. Give it up for old Brody Brodell. Leave his tag right there. Everyone go let him know on Instagram that his stash is dirty. Actually, it's clean though. Clean. All right, yeah, Mike, let's, uh, let's get this 270 in your hands. Yeah, yeah. So we're going to give Mike the big rifle. He's a lefty shooter, but uh, Mike's going to be, he's also a barefoot shooter as well. He's out here really muck boying it in Pahokee. We're gonna see if we can't get a couple of slick shots on the 270. Mike's gonna pound this thing down. Supporting it and like just let that thing bang into your shoulder. Mikey is a lefty shooter, y'all. That's a right-handed gun, so don't give him any uh, don't give him any slack, or give him some slack at least. Okay. Ex Expand that bullet. There you go, that thing is uh, now unloaded weapon. How that do you feel? bangs. Yeah, it does bang. So that's a real hunting rifle right there. This thing's gorgeous, actually. Uh, that was a nice shot there. Where were you aiming at? You want to go check out the shots? That. No, let's put two more while we're standing down here. You, you oh, yeah, 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 all right. So this is a 270 shell. This is a uh, this is a handgun round right here. So you have a rifle. This is used for lots of big game, like buck and all sorts of different stuff. That's a handgun round. That's a small handgun round. So there's your comparison. Just a little guy and a big guy. So this is what we're shooting here. So that's why you saw that budge of that shoulder. Brody's gonna go ahead and load me up here. See what's good. We locked and loaded. All right, boys. I'm gonna aim for the bat. Three, two, one. That's smoke right there, boys. That's how you do it. Drop that bullet out. We got one more, so we're gonna shoot this next one off before we Go down there and check out what's going on. You guys want to name a target for me or what? You hit that right can. So before we actually go down there and check out all of our composite shots together, we got Brody's gonna send two more down there, try to hit that red can and the uh, also little tin tin T-ball bat down there. The real shooter, right? Here. Yeah, we got the real marksman here, professional marksman with the quotations next to it, professional. <laughs> All right, yeah, flip that hat up, boss, and see what you got. Hey, that thing will, that thing will do some damage to your collarbone there if you don't hold it right. Yeah. Don't Why, you worry. You hurting all that? Nah, man, I'm just making sure you are. Now, one of you fucking sorry fuckers have hit that bat yet. I just smoked, smoked it. it. Damn, bro, you heard that exhale? Can? Well, you want to rack that bullet? Yeah, you're right. <laughs> <laughs> you got to rack it. Ain't no semi-automatic 270 now. All right, I'm going to get pretty close behind Birdie's, uh, just the camera. Just where you guys can see what Birdie's looking down. Nice. You see in the ballistics department, you don't, <coughs> hit, you don't hit your target, it puts a clean hole. So the hole that you see in the middle of the grill right there is your exit hole from the back. So that's what it looks like on the other side of the animal when that fucker comes Wow. In. Oh shit. Comes in, goes out, that's what it looks like on an exit on an animal. Oh shit. Okay, so what Brody just explained was here. In. Here, let me get a nice. In. So there's your entry. Out. And there is your exit. And it also exited through this nice little thin sheet of so we all hit this. grill here. Yeah, that was pretty, you know what I'm saying? One, two, three here. Nice two, seven shots. Let's see what the back did. Nothing. 
soft metal. Right there and right there. Yeah, I was. I felt like I was pretty close. Those crosshairs were on it, Brody. That was nice. That was a nice shot. A couple uh, corns in the car seat here, and we're gonna we're gonna have at it for uh, some pistol. We're gonna see if we can make some shredded corn here. Yeah, we're basically gonna chew this corn up. So, Mike, I mean, you could stop at like seven or so. Doing like a speed run here? Yeah, or? yeah. You just fuck this corn up. Ready? Right. On three. When I say three, one, two, three. That was a nice run. All that corn is now dead, and uh, we can focus on something else. This is the damage to the corn. Not much, as you can see. These pistol rounds were kind of flying. Yes, uh, 15? Uh, yeah, too far. Yeah, a little too far for your uh, average handgun usage. Mikey wanted to let his shit keep singing. We were out of ammo. Yeah, for real. All right, so right now we got uh, the boys with the old shotgun caliber rifles. We're going to do a little speed challenge. So. We got Mike and Brody here on the shotguns. We're gonna see who can reload actually the shotgun faster. So we're gonna see who can actually rechamber. Once the shotgun shell leaves the gun, you have to repump it so everyone knows the signature shotgun. So you have to repump it, and we're gonna test the speed on who can repump and shoot their second one fastest between Mike and Brody. Two, three. Okay, okay. Mike quickly. Mike nasty. I thought you was gonna be. What happened to the car seat, I don't really know, but we got some fresh corn here, and uh, our car seat looks to be intact, so everyone's buying metal car seats out there, it's not really your best bet. You guys gotta go for a little metal, uh, maybe some stainless steel. Yeah, good old far shot, like there's a white billy goat down there, we're out in Wisconsin or something, we gotta go snipe. Oh, what's that jumping in the water? You know what I'm saying? We can't have that, motherfucker. Throwing weird leaves and shit in the water with his little tiny gun, bro, it's sick. Let that thing eat, bro. Going 100 yards, 120. Somewhere in the middle. One shot each left or three rounds in there. Oh. Going one shot each, Brody first. Here. <laughs> Go for the bat. Oh, piss in the lake, 270 to the dome, no, 338 to the chest, boss man. Alright, so those last three 270 shots we shot off. On here, here, and here, no? Yeah, oh yeah, these were your two. Those are the old ones, the Old yeah. ones. So it had to been that one, that one, and this one. one. Where? Oh, 270, yeah, 223. There's a 270 and a 223 with the 223 on top. 270 on the bottom. Couple shots and say, "Are we got left? You can let it eat on this fucking thing. We got like yours. It's on 11. So remember, you just click that safety off, and then you're you're pretty much ready to fire here. Right there is what a 223 looks like after we grill some nice corn. Oh, okay. right there. There you go, so you got some entries. Let me get that piece of corn, I'm about to send this thing. Yeah, give him a toss, give him a soft toss for the corn, huh? Little blooper for the finish. Some bloopers. <laughs> Thank you all for tuning in for this video. Um, we're out here solo dolo land at Pahokee, and me and Brody are gonna set off two signature one-handed 12 gauge shots into the lake here uh, to celebrate this off. Thank you all for tuning in, liking, commenting, and uh, here we go, boys. Three, two, one. Messed up. Loaded. I gotta keep one too cause I feel like I'm chosen OG told me get on my shit I say I'm on it